Let's go exploring with Daniel Cook right here on the Veritable Quandary. Here we are. This is Daniel Cook drawing a turtle. Hi, crew, Brenda. And today, Brenda's going to teach me how to draw turtles. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Daniel. This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. Did you draw all the Franklin books? Yes, I'm the illustrator of Franklin. I make pictures of dinosaurs. You do? Is that yeah. your favorite thing to draw? Yeah. I'd like and to, see I like to draw my cat. Maybe we should do you know, a story where a turtle meets a cat. Uh oh, that, that would be interesting. <laughs> yeah. It could be um, a book called Frank, Franklin and the Big Monster. But it's really just a gentle cat. What's the best part about being an illustrator? I get to draw all day long, and it's my job, too. That's pretty neat. You think we could go draw or a picture of Franklin and the cat? Well, Actually, would you like to come and see my studio? We could do it up there. Okay. Okay, let's go. Daniel, welcome to my studio. This is where I do all the Franklin illustrations. What are the steps you need to do to uh, draw a book? Well, this is uh, something I'd like to show you from the book Franklin is Lost. I start off by doing these little sketches. They're called thumbnail sketches because they're so small. Oh, these big my thumb. Not bigger. I make it a little bit bigger so I can put in some more details. And you see those lines? Those are where the type's going to go. So then I do it even bigger. Then I paint it. And that is the final illustration. Do you start with the head or the body? Because I normally start with those two. So do I. I like to start with the head. Mostly I do, mostly I do the body first. Yeah? Well, okay, I'm going to show you how I do it first, and then you can do it. So I'm just going to draw the outside of his head, and then I'm going to... I like to put the eye in fairly early so I know where Franklin is looking. I'm going to give him a big smile. Now I'm doing his shoulders, but you know what? There's something I'm not uh, sure is right, so I'm going to take this. Do you know what this is? Uh, a piece of clay? It looks like a piece of clay, doesn't it? It's actually my eraser. What? It's called a kneadable eraser. I use that instead of a regular eraser. Ooh. You made it work. Thank you. It's definitely starting to look like Franklin. Thank you. How many times do you think you've drawn Franklin? I think probably about a thousand times. I think you're right. I've drawn dinosaurs about a thousand times. Well, you must be really good at drawing dinosaurs by yeah. now. That's a pretty good Franklin. Thank you. So here's the story. This is Daniel Cook creating a Franklin story. Franklin, he's going out for a walk, and he gets... It's sort of like Franklin gets lost and he takes a wrong turn and a cat and after a while he finds a cat and the cat the cat goes meow and he's like Aah! So is he going to be afraid? Yep. Okay, let's see what you would do. First thing I'm gonna draw a signpost. And I'm gonna draw the pink city. I can tell you like to put lots of details in your drawings. I do. First, I'm going to draw the cat. Is it going to look like your cat? It is going to be my cat. Meow. Now I'm going to draw Franken. i got to think what, what Franken's expression would be like. It's probably going to look like... I'm going to draw a shell. Here's a baby kitten. I'm good at drawing baby kittens. Now I'm gonna draw his house. Because I guess Franklin lived over here somewhere in the country, yeah. right? Do you want to put some words on your 
Illustration? Okay. The well, first sentence is, one day Franklin wanted to go for a walk. The second sentence is, something was wrong. Here's Franklin's house. Here, here's the sign. Here's, here's the, the little baby kittens. Here's Franklin, and here's the cat, and here's a size, and here's a skyscraper. Daniel, that's a really good first page to your story. Thanks. Thank you so much, Brenda, for drawing turtles with me. That was so much fun. I had fun too, Daniel. This episode is over, but the very best of my collection is banned on YouTube. To see what you have been missing, go to archive.org and search for Gyro Screw Loose, and I'll see you there.